Hey friend, Tyvin's here. I'm bringing you guys survival on Mars today. This is Surviving Mars by Paradox Interactive. It comes out today on the Xbox One. It's $39.99. I made a video going in blind. It was awful. It was kind of funny. I started, I mean, I did upload it, but then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna learn the games. I've learned it. And we're gonna turn this into a tutorial. How about that? So. We're going to show you how to play the game. So you can pick new game and you can do all these settings, but we're just going to do an easy start just to get the basics. So you what to do to live on Mars. Welcome to Mars. Welcome to Mars. You want to read that? All right. So here we are looking at Mars Boop. and all this shit's in the way. So we have so this is Mars. All these little sections are little parts of Mars. And this one section we have scanned already. If you look, it says Sector 16 unexplored. You see right there it says Sector, sector 17 scan. It's got concrete, metal, rare metal, and water. So it's got the essentials to start with. We can go ahead and land there if we want. Or we can pick our little go over with the RB button. And we can... Pick a spot to scan. I wish that would quit popping up. And we can uncover what what is on another section. So we can say, if we want to scan, this, this is a terrible starting spot. I wish we'd have started in the middle. So we're going to scan right here. I'm going to hit X. Boop. And now it found underground metals right there. So now we're going to scan right here. This is a terrible starting spot. Usually you start in a flat area. I've practiced this making this video and it was always nice areas. It'll restart it. I'll just scan right here. Scan there. Whole bunch of shit. And there. All right, that'll work. We'll just go with that. So you see we've got these parts un uncovered. Um, so we're going to go, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna zoom in on this spot right here. And this is where we want to hit RB and we want to put our rocket out. So you can hit LB and RB. It looks like a great white, doesn't it? Coming up out of the water. That's what it reminds me of. So I wish you could zoom out more or zoom in. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and colonize this place. Uh, but to start with, we have these robots. And if you look, that little blue border, when I move it around, you see that blue border moving around? That is the area that the robots can work in. Uh, they can work anywhere, but you have to bring this other machine around, this rover. But in general, you'd like to get these things in there. You don't want to do like this and then you're screwed. So you want to put as much possible in this starting area, work area that you can. If we had got better scans, we, this would have been a, a different placement going on. But apparently we had a shitty scan and we have nothing really. That's what I like about this game. It's always random. So we're going to put it and we can turn this thing however we want. Just kind of for looks or whatever. But uh, And these little rocks right here are kind of important too. And it's like we didn't get many of them. There's some right there. Let's see if we can get them in it. So you can't zoom out much, which is kind of annoying. Oh, we want to get them in it. Uh, the, the zooming in this game could do a little, could get better. All right, we're just going to go right here. Go right here. We don't have to run our power cable as far. So I'm going to hit A, and our little ship's going to come in and land. And it's going to unload our rovers and our little worker drones, and they're awesome. So before we can get people here, we have to establish, we, we need, you, our goal is to get people here. Uh, but for people to live here, you know, you need two things, oxygen and water. And there isn't any, so we got to get that going with these robots. All right, we can, on the digital pad, you can pause it, push left and right, play it. Speed it up and go really fast. Look how fast they're going. All right. So let's look at the menu again. So it's telling us over there. It says, hey, milestone, you found water. We got lucky. Sometimes you don't always find water on the initial thing. It's always random. It's telling them to explore. Uh, so we're not going to do that, man. We're going to do the research. So to pull up your research menu, you hit left trigger, which is really weird to me because that start and back does nothing. But it's left trigger. So you hit left trigger and this pops up. And then you want to go to, let me show all this stuff. You want to go to research. So this is what makes this game really cool is 
these research tiers you have you have a biotech engineering robotics physics and social and you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen nineteen or did i count it wrong was it twenty you have nineteen oops wrong button you have nineteen on each level they're always random so this biotech sometimes we might not start out with water reclamation we'll start out with another one that we don't know yet because we haven't researched and engineering we don't always start out with that one we don't always start out with these which is really cool it's always random um so we're going to research some of these and we're going to if you look to the right it says research per soul which is 300 we get 300 research points and it takes a thousand to research and i'll go over we'll we'll learn how to get more of them and i think um per so i didn't actually google so i think maybe that's i don't know is that a year on mars i don't know but whatever i don't, I don't keep up with time in this game i don't know how it works so if we research this this gives power production uh, increased by 33 percent to our wind turbines which we will use that's pretty cool drones and rovers move 25 percent faster that's amazing i like that i haven't seen that one yet that's really cool see because like i said it's always random i've never seen that one i want that one allows the clearing of salvage and destroy buildings that's pretty cool new spire building water reclamation system drastically reduces the water consumption of the dome that takes people so that's not a good one to start with right now because we don't have any humans you see the little the little two symbol that's yellow that means you need two two people two humans for that so we're not going to do that one that gives us one uh, money, uh, one time fee. I, I, I want to go. With, I want to do this. So I'm gonna hit A to queue that up. But I'm gonna queue up this wind turbine for the next thing. And that's all we're gonna do for now. We're just gonna be done, done with that. All right. So now we need to start building. We want to get. We got to start uh, the, getting our uh, getting our people here. If you hit Y, so if you hit the Y button, this brings up the build menu, and you have all this shit to build. You can hit R, B, and L, B to go through it. Uh, we eventually want to build domes and we want to build all these things a living quarters all this stuff for our humans to come here and live and Get off of this shitty planet that we're on god. This would be amazing if we could do this so Our goal is to build all this stuff Which is going to be awesome and you have to build it in these domes and we only have a small dome right now. We'll eventually get bigger domes to build bigger stuff. But domes are kind of big. This is what this one looks like. I'm not going to build it. So it's kind of big, but you can get them bigger than that. All right, so we want to establish, we want to get this concrete. If you hit A on this, it shows you it's concrete. The grade is high, which means they're going to get it really fast. Grade really doesn't matter, but that's pretty good. And then you look at this, that's water high. That's an anomaly. Uh, underground realm minerals we'll figure that out in a minute and this is the underground uh underground deposits all right I, uh, this is a good start we have plenty of rock it looks like this rock is what we need if we hit a you see it's 36 metal 38 22 and that's just a bunch of shit right there all right so to bring up the build menu again we're going to hit the y button and we're going to it's telling us you see the thing down there blinking it's like, dude, you need to build this concrete extractor. So we're going to go to the concrete extractor. It costs six metal. And it costs two machine parts. If you look, you see the advanced resources on the right. We have two, 15 machine parts. We brought 15 with us from Earth. So we have, we can build this. So we're going to hit the A button right here. And this is going to, this is a really cool machine. You can hit RB and LB to circle this around. And if you look, you see where it says available resources 144. We want to move that around until it gets to a good number. And you don't want to put it right on top of it. You want to kind of get it. That was 358. Ooh, three, ooh 390. I like the 390. See so if we can get back. There we go. So I'm going to hit the A button right here. And there we go. Now our little drones are just going crazy trying to find this metal. They're like, oh, where's this metal at? Oh, God. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So some are going to that one. Some are going to this one. They load this little metal up. It's really cool looking. And they get a stack of it. You really need six stacks. I call it one, but it's really a whole six stack. So they're going to all bring it over here and they're going to build this thing. I'm going to speed it up one more time. 
Um. Oh man, they, they have some sorry ass drones, right? They made him build it by himself. Oh, well, there they come. Like, oh, sorry, we're late. All right, so that symbol right there means that, hey, I need power. You need power to work this stuff. So we're going to give this thing some power. We'll hit Y. And we're going to go over to this electrical symbol. It's telling us to do this. Uh, I, I'll show you this before I do the power. So you have these, if you look at this storages, these little platforms, they cost nothing to put out. But you can put them out and they'll store stuff on it. So I can put a universal depot and it'll store 30 units of each resource. If I did that, it's going to undo, it's going to unload all those advanced resources onto this thing. It'll put out the polymers. Uh, I'll just do it. So you hit A. You put it where you want it. You can spin it around. They'll normally get them out of the ship, but if you want to look at it, you can do all this. It kind of looks cool. So they'll all get all those materials that we were just looking at, and they'll load them up on here. It'll just make it kind of easier to get when you're playing. You can kind of see, kind of see what you got by looking at it too. And another thing you can do that's kind of cool is these rocks. You see they go get these rocks when they need metal. Well, let's let them finish doing that. I don't know what it is that's fascinating about that, right? I just love looking at that for some reason. All right, so... Oh, they're getting rocks. Look, they're getting rocks to put it because it holds 30 of each. So you can build a rock one. If you look at this, you see metal. So we can do this, and we can put another one right here and now it's going to load this one up with metal which i don't know how it's going to do i guess it's going to finish this one first but this just speeds up holy shit this speeds up the process because when it go when you start building stuff they won't go over here and do this anymore they'll go straight to the stack and get them which will just make building a lot faster oh yeah they're already starting to put it on that i think one of these things hold um yeah, they'll hold 30, 30 of each one, but they just, I guess they're just doing both. And see, that thing will hold 180. So, we're going to get, they're going to get all the rocks that we can get in this, in this area that we discover, which you can't see anymore, which is another thing that's kind of weird. You can't look, oh, there it is. They're going to get all the rock that's in this, and I think that's going to be it, the one they're getting. But there's ways to get more rock, well, I'll show you that. Looks like there's some over here, are they getting this? Yeah, they are. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes between the other rock or the metal. All right, so back to business. We're going to get this thing powered up. So to power it up, we're going to hit Y. Go to electrical symbol. Whoops, wrong way. Electrical symbol. So you can build all these power things. So you could build a wind turbine because it works all the time, but it needs concrete. We don't have any concrete. We didn't bring any concrete from Earth. How crazy is that? We got so much damn concrete, but we didn't bring any. So we have to start out with a solar panel, which only works during the day, but it's got to go. We got to do it. So we can put this thing anywhere. You got to start somehow. So you can put it anywhere you want. We're going to just put it right here. We're going to be running power to all this shit. So we're going to put it right there. Um, so they're going to build that. It takes four metal. So you see they can just go right here and get the metal, and it's like builds much faster. So now it's saying, hey, this thing needs power, and this thing's not powering anything. So now you hit Y, go to your power cables, and you want to put this little dot anywhere next to this thing. So we'll just put it, you put it right, the next uh, hex next to it. So we'll put it there, and then we'll go to there, and then it'll build it. And you see it puts a little wire to each one. How cool is that? That's going to build it, and then it's going to say you're... Control batteries are low. That's terrible. And guess what? Power. Look at that. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? So as soon as we get this metal, this concrete, we can build us a wind turbine. And wind turbines are going to work. Oh, look, they're getting the concrete already. Uh, wind turbines are going to work during the night, which is awesome. This thing's fixing to stop working because it's fixing to be dark. But watch it stop working. If you also if you hit A on this... You'll see a little bar down there at the bottom with a little wrench, the maintenance. That means when that thing gets full, it's going to have to be main, maintenance. You're going to have to do maintenance on it. It's going to be automatic, and it's going to take one machine part. So we have machine parts for now, but we're going to have to eventually get more machine parts because all this shit's going to have to be 
maintained. And it quit working because you know what? We don't have any sun. Look how pretty that is. How much rock? How much metal do we have? 25. That's all them stacks is 25, 27. All right. They're still getting them rocks, I think. Yeah, they are. All right. So it's telling you, hey, it's something's hooked to it, but we're not getting power. So you know what? We're going to slow down. We're going to make it go normal. Let's build this wind turbine. Wind turbine. We can put it right next to this thing because why not? The wind turbine, it takes four concrete and one machine part to build. It looks like it's not going to be hooked to it. I thought the power would work right there, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Let's see what it does. I don't think it's going to. Look, morning's here. There. Yep, it hooked to it. All right, now we're making some power. So if you also look at this, if you see your production is 5.9 uh and your stored power is none demand total demand is five so this thing is only taking five power so now we're making way too much power so what we want to do now is build a power accumulator where it stores power it takes two polymers and three concrete we happen to bring 15 polymers whatever the hell that is we brought them from earth instead of concrete so now we're going to build this and what this is going to do is this is going to store power. This is the real, this thing's really cool. So when it gets built, it'll be flat. It'll go flat to the ground. And over time, as it builds extra power in it, it'll start growing and it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it'll, it'll just keep going. Oh, it won't keep going. It'll get to the size of what it looked like right there. All right, there's that. So another thing you can do, if you click on this thing, I don't forget how you go over now. So the controls in this game are kind of funky. They're kind of annoying. But if you click this, you have to hit the right trigger. When you hit the right trigger, it activates you being able to do this on this. So what this lets you do is you can request maintenance or you can salvage a building. So you can salvage something before it's being built. That's what you want to do. Uh, that's the key to that. But you can also go through here and you can see these shifts. So you see it's working first shift, it's on. Second shift is on. And you can say, you know what? I don't want you to work in third shift at night. So at nighttime, you can cut it off and it won't work. And if we do that, you can see the power. Look at this. This thing, you see it's kind of slowly getting, you see, it's building up power. So there's going to be wind storms and stuff that come. And... You're going to not have power at some points. Uh, something could destroy this. You could have a meteor. You're playing a meteor. could just crash right here and screw your shit up. But if it doesn't hit this, guess what? We have power. Well, I think that's good enough for this start video. I think this gives you the basics of it. I'm going to make another video. I like this game. We'll show you how these rovers work in the next video. And a little bit more. I, look, I should show you this right now. This thing right here also. Is it Teddy on here? It, it, it makes, if you look at it, you see it says daily production 16. And it says stored concrete and stored waste rock. Well, it it makes this waste rock right here. You see it just made one. It doesn't make, it doesn't always make good stuff. It makes this crappy shit you don't want. So if you hit Y and if you go over to your storage thing, you can say, you know what? Dump in sight. Store 70 of that. You can hit that. And you can say, you know what? Dump that shit over here, here in the rocks. And then guess what? They'll go take all that stuff and dump it over there. I don't, I'm not crazy about that, how it, how it does that. It just gives you one more thing to do in the game, I guess. But uh, you got to store them rocks somewhere because it's eventually just going to keep building up all that shit. And it's just going to look... I mean, I guess you don't have to. If you want it to look nice, your little town, you want to... Like a dumping site. It looks like a, a burial ground, doesn't it? Something. We're building something for some future person to come see and think an alien did it. All right. I guess I'm going to end this video.